Well, first of all, if I can direct my first question to Dr. Templeman, what piqued your interest about the mangosteen? Well, actually, I became interested in the mangosteen through Dr. Morton. I've known him for many years. And uh, Dr. Morton wanted, I believe, to get the impression of a practicing physician uh, with regard to certain articles that he was researching. Now, these were articles from uh, journals of pharmacy, journals of medicine from around the world. And when I started to read those articles, I began to imagine, you know, there are certain things in medicine you just can't fix. Uh, I was trained to look after a lot, but there are many, many things that doctors encounter that they just can't fix. And I was reading about things that were in that category, and I was curious, could I use some of this natural medicine to possibly help my own patients? And that's how I got interested. Well, Dr. Morton, my next question obviously is to you. How has the mangosteen been used in traditional medicine? Well, the mangosteen fruit, Abby, um, it's, it's about the size of a tangerine. Um, and it has this outside thick pericarp or rind that usually purple in, uh, in color, and it usually tastes very bitter. It's awful. It's horrible, I, yeah, as a matter of fact. It doesn't taste very tasty at all. But the way it gets to claim the queen of fruits is the pulp is the, the juicy fruit on the inside. Now traditionally the way people in Southeast Asia use this is that during regular day they'd open up the mangosteen fruit, throw out the pericarp and eat the pulp. But medicinally when it would be used if someone in the, in the village was sick the mangosteen fruit would be open and the pulp would be set aside and the pericarp would be taken, ground on a rock, taken the, uh, the pulp of this pericarp and mix it with water, make a tea or a tincture and be used internally for conditions like uh, a dysentery and diarrhea or, or the pericarp would be taken apart and, and uh, put in a poultice and uh, used externally on the skin for infections and uh, conditions such as psoriasis. And that's been used in that way for centuries until even today. So it's really in the rind. Correct.